I'm like losing my voice. Welcome aboard to a very chaotic and overdue closet clean out video. I'm Victoria Ann. If you're new here, make sure you like and subscribe. And let's just get right into the video because this is going to be a long one. I am going to completely clean out my closet. And when I say clean out, I mean like actually pull everything out and sweep and dust and organize in these old vintage apartments in these cities. Like there's so much dust and just like lint and I need to really just, I'm going to be making a pile and there's gonna be three categories in the pile. Basically, if something's kind of torn up, stained, really old, not trendy, it's going to Goodwill. If I think it's kind of rare and vintage, it's gonna to go to my Depop. And then anything that is kind of in between is gonna to go to Plato's Closet and basically I'll just take whatever I can get. Okay, also I will not be doing shoes today because in my shoe collection video, I did go through all of my shoes and kind of decide like which ones I don't wear anymore and which ones I should sell and donate. But one thing I did do to kind of help me today is I created a Pinterest board and I titled it new for kind of like new vibe, new style, new me, whatever you want to call it. I was kind of trying to like emulate the Pinterest board with this shirt today day and this color scheme basically everything on this pinterest board is like green or black it's kind of just like gonna help me like hone in on my style today so that way i have something to reference and kind of realize like okay this is the color scheme that i love or these are like the textures and the styles and the fits that just really make me feel like me i know i said like in past videos you know you can be whatever you want to be you can be a skater an e-girl, a goth girl, um, a 70s girl, and I truly believe that, but I also think that the, that's like, you need like an umbrella term and then everything can fall underneath that. So if you have like a one set style, then in there you can have little hints of like other aesthetics and vibes and colors, but like I think I just have too much going on right now. I really do kind of have to like just narrow it down and figure out like what makes me feel the most like me and to me that's this like grungy dark ethereal kind of victorian no pun intended kind of witchy that's what i'm going for today that's gonna help me with my decisions and enough chit chatting let's just jump right into this we need to get started <laughs> Shuffle music by Tyler the Creator. Sure, here's the Spotify playlist called This is Tyler the Creator. Okay, so I'll show you the progress so far. That actually didn't take too long. I want to say that only took like 30 minutes. But my apartment right now, <laughs> huge disaster, tornado. But this is like kind of making me happy. Am I weird? I like like cleaning and organizing. It has not looked like this since I moved in. Empty, empty, somewhat empty. Thank you, I 
need to immediately start putting stuff back into my closet because I can't even walk around my own apartment right now. It's literally insane. I would show you guys, but I feel like I have like some like bras and underwear and stuff like mixed in and like I just, the internet doesn't need to see all that. So first off, I'm going to be doing the long dresses. I'm going to pull one category at a time and throw it under this chair and then go through it and put it back in the closet. Well, let's just start. Um, incredible, very like pilgrim, fall, fairy. Definitely goes with the vibe that I'm going for. Definitely keeping this. This one is new. Definitely keeping this. Haven't even worn it yet. I put my jumpsuits in with my long dresses because they need to go at the top of my closet too. Definitely keeping both. They're just nice to have. I feel like these are really nice for traveling because then you usually throw it in a suitcase and you have like one nice outfit for the day that's like comfy and just makes packing easy. I can't decide on this one. You know what, I'm keeping this because it's just like an easy go-to outfit. You look so put together when you put on a long dress, so keeping it. Okay, this one. I thrifted this at a Goodwill when I was back home in Delaware for a little bit. For a while, I thought that the only thing I wanted to wear was blue velvet. So I had like six blue velvet dresses and tops and I've gotten rid of a few of them now. And this is like one of the last survivors. I don't know if I should get rid of it. I love the red. Okay, so next up on the list are jackets. Okay, first up is this Vans jacket that my boyfriend gave me. I love it, I really do. But I also feel like there's a fine line between wearing clothes that make you look a little bit like a tomboy and like that oversized kind of fit and then actually just looking like a boy. And for some reason, I feel like this jacket does that to me. Like I just look like a boy. And the gray hood with the black jacket just gives me very like, 2014 tumblr skater vibes which i'm like trying to take that next step and kind of get away from that even though i'll always kind of be like that it has like the red plaid interior talking about it like it's a car this i just threw in the jacket pile because it's actually my only blazer and i really like it i thrifted it and i have no idea what this company is but i kind of love it oh yeah it really looks great with this t-shirt Keeping my puffer, it's just a black puffer. I actually wore this like every day this winter, but I think I'm gonna take some of these heavier winter coats to my boyfriend's house. He has a lot more storage than me, so I'm gonna make a pile for that. I don't even have room to make another pile. This big freaking Puff Daddy Nine West coat. I don't really like this anymore. I kind of bought it when I thought I was a little bit more elegant and trying to be a little bit more sophisticated. I love like blue and green together. It's such a cute combo. Keeping this, love this jacket. Every time I wear it, I get compliments on it and people are like, where did you find that? I'm like, Marshall's bitch. God, every time I try something on, I'm like, wait, I don't like this. And then I try it on, I'm like, uh, kinda cute. I embroidered a little 47 on the back and I used to have this covered in like my festy pins and patches when I was really into going to music festivals and stuff. I took them all off one day in like a manic artsy episode. Okay, yeah, I'm getting rid of this. I literally look like a doctor. This was my Nana's and you'll see, I have a few things in my wardrobe that were my Nana's when she passed away. Me and my sisters all kind of split up her clothes and each took a few things, so I can't get rid of it just for that reason. Even though it's just from like old baby, it's not like vintage or anything. <laughs> Both my Nana's or my mom's, I forget which is which, but this looks like a... Con <sighs> that one looks like a conductor's jacket or something, but it's very vintage. I have to keep that. Okay, so next up are dresses. <laughs> This one I found on sale. I thought it was adorable. All of my coworkers thought it was ugly. 
which happens a lot, but I think I might cut it and make it into a shirt. And I have another dress I'm gonna do the same thing with. I do not have the confidence to wear a dress like this anymore. In high school, I did bodycon dresses. Nope, not for me anymore. But this one, I love the color and the pattern, but the fit is kind of weird. Getting rid of this. Also getting rid of this. Um, also kind of gives me like Christmas vibes. It's Lucky Brand. Okay, this dress I thrifted from Goodwill when I was like really in my witchy phase. It's ASOS. It's definitely like the vibe that I'm going for. So I think I'm gonna keep her. I don't know how I feel about this anymore. This has got to go. This dress I'm definitely getting rid of. It's cute, but it's like that other brown floral one where the length is just weird. It hangs like right below my kneecaps. Basically the vibe I'm going for is like if a Brooklyn, if a Brooklyn hipster was in a Studio Ghibli animation, but it was directed by Tim Burton. <laughs> Does that make sense? Look at this collar. Incredible. Oh, I forgot about this. Okay, this is a set that I thrifted. Look at this color. Like, so beautiful, so elegant. And then look at the little coat that came with it. Okay, this is so cool that our brains work like this, or at least my brain works like this. When I saw this dress at the thrift store, immediately, you know, it popped up in my head. Mary, Kate, and Ashley go to Paris. They're wearing like these exact dresses in that movie. I love this dress. Very, very 90s. What's the brand? I'm definitely keeping this. City Triangles, look at that tag. Okay, so I quickly threw my vest on the chair now and I'm keeping every single one. Next, let's do sweaters. Cause I think I'm gonna get rid of a lot of my sweaters. I forgot one of my vests that I think I'm gonna get rid of cause it's just way too bleh. This vest, I need to get rid of this, right? It's not really me anymore. This sweater, I think I'm gonna get rid of. It reminds me of like corn. It's like the color of corn. This I'm keeping, thrifted this, love it. Look at those stripes, amazing. It's like really fitted, which I just like everything to be oversized and baggy, but I should have a few things in my wardrobe that like actually show that I'm a female. Look at the tag too. Damn, I'm doing this like a little late because now if I try to sell any of this, it's like winter clothes. Nothing's gonna sell because it's springtime and everyone wants the trendy spring stuff. So on this one, I think I'm gonna keep this. Okay. Oh, if I have that reaction to it, like, oh, I guess I'll keep it. Then I probably should just get rid of it. What do we think of this? The collar is kind of amazing, so I might just keep it because of the collar. Mm, getting rid of it. Oh, I also forgot to show you guys my little corner of bags and hats over there. So we'll do that last. But yeah, I think I'm just going to blast some music and get through some of these like boring chunks. I just had some lunch and I made an iced coffee. I really need this. Honestly, I feel so tired. You know, when you like don't eat for like a while and then when you finally eat, you almost feel like nauseous and tired after. Like your body is just like, what? Like, thank you, finally. So, just doesn't know how to handle the food. Pile is looking pretty large so far. I'm kind of proud of myself. Let's do skirts next. I think I started this at 11.30 and I don't even know what time it is. Hey Google, what time is it? It's 3.01. Okay. Shit, it got really windy out. Um, I think I'm gonna get rid of this one. My mom just gave me this and it's a wrap skirt and I wore it out one day recently. And speaking of wind, it was really windy that day too. I had the freaking wrap of the skirt flying open. It was so bad. 
it was like PTSD to when I had to wear those stupid little skirts in Catholic high school and one gust of wind and your whole skirt went in the parking lot for everyone to see. Keeping this, obviously. This jean skirt, I think I'm gonna sell. I'm gonna keep this one I thrifted. What brand is this? Oh, it's Express. It's definitely Vintage Express. I love the bottom. I'm gonna get rid of this one. I've worn it a few times already. I love it. It's very unique. I don't know, kinda looks like something you would wear in the circus. All right, nice. Got rid of like three skirts. Okay, now let's do some of my more like fancy tops. I just showed this in my get ready with me video. I think I'm gonna get rid of it, even though it's cool. Another cool tag. Splendid. This is such a pirate shirt. I could totally see myself wearing this if I was in like Pirates of the Caribbean, hanging out with Captain Jack Sparrow, being his mistress. No, getting rid of this. This, I'ma keep. Wore this in my makeup tutorial video. Love it. I'm gonna keep this one too, just cause I like any like dark floral pattern where the background is black. I think it's like girly, but also kind of edgy. I think I'm gonna get rid of this one. It makes my boobs look incredible, but nope. Also just got this one. This is part of the reason why I'm doing this closet cleanout video. Cause when I got my stimulus check, our last stimulus check, I did a little bit of shopping. So it's like, yep, it's time. Cause I didn't even have any empty hangers to put away my new clothes. <laughs> okay, I just want to get this part over with. This is my cart of t-shirts. I don't think you can see the bottom two shelves, but let me just show you real quick. Okay. I have so many black t-shirts and they're honestly the ones I wear all day, every day. So I'm gonna keep most of the black ones and just get rid of a lot of the other ones. Okay, so my camera died again. Thank God I have two backup batteries. So as you can see, it's kind of far, but I went through all of my t-shirts. Okay, so I thought this was hilarious. This should become like a new TikTok trend or something, but I was going through my pajama shirts and I was realizing, I was like, oh my gosh, if someone were to see these, like they would know the exact type of person I am immediately. <laughs> These pajama shirts just basically sum me up. So look at this. Hello Kitty, Cup of Noodles, Nightmare Before Christmas, oh, <laughs> Batman, Winter Park, Colorado, Pigeons Playing Ping Pong, Game of Thrones, Grateful Dead, Sailor Moon, and a Delaware Skateboard Shop. Oh my God, I need to get this makeup off my face. My eyes are watering and itching and burning. Okay, next I think I'm gonna do cardigans because half of them I can put in my pile of winter clothes that I'm going to take to my boyfriend's house. Thank God for him and his new house. All of that storage is amazing for me. Look at this one, I thrifted. Another incredible tag, Ransom. Super big, chunky, fluffy cardigan. belts right now. Is this cute or is this hideous? Now let's do beanies. Didn't wear this one once this winter, so I'm gonna get rid of her. Didn't wear this one once this winter, gonna get rid of that. That was when I was in my neon phase. My neon was really trendy like two years ago. This is kind of like my hobo beanie. I'm gonna keep it. And then this one I got for free at like some farmer's market or something. Actually a dispensary had a little pop-up booth at a farmer's market and they were giving these out because one of their strains of weed or edibles had like an aphrodisiac in it or something. So they gave out like love merch. <laughs> yeah, an all black outfit with like some red accessories and that beanie could be cute. So now I only have four beanies. Wait, I'm missing one. I have a plain black Adidas one somewhere. Yeah, keeping this one. Should I get rid of this stupid thing? Plain black bucket hat. It's like kind of velvety. No, not velvet. What is this? Corduroy. 
Okay, I can't officially put the gloves away for the season because it is 70 degrees out today. And if we get like one little random snow, I think that will be it for the winter. So I got my fingers gloves, which I literally wore like every day in the winter. Love those. I've been a fingerless glove and vest type of girl since like sophomore year of college. I'll put up a photo if I can find one of like me wearing this like exact outfit that I'm picturing that I used to wear like all the time. I had these really ripped up like Hollister jeans that I would wear all the time. And every single time I went out in them, some stupid fucking asshole would like be like, oh, you have a hole in your jeans. These are some like knee high socks that I cut to try to make some arm warmers and look at this outfit right now. Should this be the thumbnail? I don't know, should I keep these or just like throw them in the trash? I think I should keep them. In the winter with like a big sweater and having these like pop out underneath, that would be cute. My only corset that I got out of Spirit Halloween, keeping her. I love this outfit that I'm putting together. Okay, so I cleared off everything on this rack and I'm gonna slip it back into the closet now. Slip it back into the closet. That sounds sexual. Okay, so I never showed this little coat rack in the corner here, but I have some purses, hats, scarves on here. So I think I'm just gonna get rid of like two or three bags, maybe get some new ones at a thrift store. I know when people are doing these videos, they're kind of like, you know, I'm not just getting rid of stuff so I can get more, but to be honest, that's exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> But I'm going to go to a thrift store and be like, okay, what gaps do I need to fill in my wardrobe? Not just like, oh, this is cute. I'm going to pick this up. No. Okay, so I lied about almost being done. I kind of forgot about pants. How could I forget about pants? It's like the one thing I wear the most. So I'm going to start with my fun pants. These I thrifted and then I painted the hearts on them and I love them so much. I'm definitely going to keep them. But the back, my boyfriend said it looks like I have a whale tail when I wear these pants. <laughs> so he ruined them for me. So go through the suitcase of my Depop inventory. I'm gonna get rid of some of that stuff. I still have to take care of my sell and donate pile. I still have to take a whole box of winter clothes in my boyfriend's house, but my closet is done. It's done, it's done, it's done, it's done. pretty this is probably like the most OCD shit ever yeah that is about it thank you guys so much for watching I hope this maybe inspired you to do a little spring cleaning um, I hope you guys have a good day a good week and I will catch you in my next video next Sunday bye guys